Change is difficult. Implementation is the hard work. And will there be resistance? Oh, absolutely. That's, I've always done it this way. I mean, when you're dealing with outcomes that only occur one in 50,000, for example, and you try to change processes to prevent them, well, I can talk to physicians that have been in practice for as long as I have. Well, that's never happened to me. Why should I change what I do? Uh, traditional care is driven by this is just the way we've always done it. It's anecdotal. So as, as you know, the explosion of medical knowledge in the last 20 to 30 years, we need to apply what we've learned there to the outcomes and measure those outcomes and then move forward. Really, randomized controlled trials are very important and they're, they're the gold standard, but they're very expensive and hard to put together. Um, outcome studies, as, as we follow our data, is going to be available to everyone. And as we aggregate those outcomes, we standardize our care going forward and then change maybe one thing if we want to affect a certain outcome rather than a dozen things at once. That's, I think, what will instruct uh, our quality in the future, our value in the future, and our progress. I think outcome studies won't replace randomized controlled trials, but they'll become very valuable in the advancement of medical care. There's a lot of industry examples. You know, Edwards Demings is one of my favorite authors on, the qual on, on quality and value and so forth in manufacturing, simply applying those uh, principles in medicine um, is something we haven't done. We're, we're still more kind of mom and pop, one-off kind of experience driven. We need to be data driven, outcome driven, uh, like other industries that have shown remarkable uh, progress in safety and quality, like the nuclear power industry and so forth. I guess it's not right to say it's not rocket science. It is kind of. Actually, you prove rocket science the same way. But it's those industry principles that we need to apply to medicine, I think. I think the focus is going in the right direction. I think uh, rather than a distraction, it's just the application of outcome-based, data-driven decisions in medical care is what has been missing.